is it good for Bitcoin if JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, and Bank of America issue $10 trillion of USD stable coins and start handling Bitcoin and selling it to all their institutional investors? Yeah, it's good for Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin, then $10 million a coin. And all the people that believed in Bitcoins for the last decade are going to have the financial wherewithal to create their own companies to do whatever they want. It's just not good for the entrepreneurs that compete against the mega caps. We recently have seen a bunch of politicians all start to pay attention in various ways. So we've got on one side, um, in the United States, most politicians uh, started off abrasive. So, you know, without naming any of them, uh, there's a number that were very concerned about Bitcoin. Uh, if you go back a couple of years, we then saw uh, obviously China go ahead and ban miners um, and take a, a pretty abrasive uh, step there. But over the last, let's call it, I don't know, eight months, seven months, uh, we've seen El Salvador go ahead and make Bitcoin legal tender. They seem to not only be supporting it as legal tender, they also are onboarding people via their, this uh, app that they've built and also this ATM network that they've built. They're mining Bitcoin and, and kind of really trying to plug their country, if you will, into the Bitcoin network. And then just recently over the last week or two, we've seen multiple politicians all at the local level start to become much more uh, friendly or uh, embracing of Bitcoin. So you've got obviously the mayor in Miami who has been a very kind of pro Bitcoin for a while. You've got Eric Adams, who's the new mayor of New York City. He now leaning in saying he's going to take uh, some of his paychecks in Bitcoin and, and uh, some of the stuff should be taught in schools, et cetera. We've also got two kind of smaller mayors, one in Tennessee and one in I think it's Tampa Bay uh, in Florida, all kind of leaning into this. How do you look at the intersection of Bitcoin and politicians? And is this, a, this just a continuation of like Bitcoin is good for business? And so if it's good for corporations, then it's going to be good for the politicians as well? Or how do you read that situation? I think that um, one of the great advantages of Bitcoin is, is it's money of the people. Right? It's money for the people. And um, the combination of the fact that it's permissionless and it's open – Nobody controls it means everyone, everyone can adopt it. Everyone can engage in it. And the proof of work network means that you have a large business in Bitcoin mining. And what is Bitcoin mining? Bitcoin mining is like this. It's like your skin. It's like, it's, it's the first line of defense of your immune system, right? It's, it's what uh, makes you healthy. The Bitcoin mining industry is a $22 billion a year industry right now. That means that the protocol is creating a $22 billion subsidy for Bitcoin entrepreneurs to go out into the world and find supportive political jurisdictions. $22 billion and um, per year. So when you think about that, that means that um, the miners themselves, they, ha they have to raise capital, but, that, but um, you see the Bitcoin miners are ripping today in the market, right? All their stocks are up. Yes. And they've been very successful. You can take a Bitcoin miner public. You're not going to take a proof of stake validator public, right? Mm -hmm. One of the big differentiators is, is the miners. The miners have to, have to use energy and technology but the miners are also recruiting political capital to the network.